Alright, well today we're going to take a look at doing an exploit for MS-12020. So let's log into Deep Security. We're first going to verify our victim here. Quick look at the dashboard. Go over to Computers. There's our victim, 2003. It's unpatched. As you can see, the uh, IPS rule and module are turned off. Okay, so there's our victim, 2003 server. Go ahead and log in real quick. And we'll just load up the deep security agent and verify the intrusion prevention service is not running. As you can see, it's not configured. And we'll also get the IP address. So heading over to our Kali instance, we're going to load up the Metasploit console. And we're going to do a search for that particular exploit. Now we're going to use, load the actual module. This particular one is just a remote desktop protocol exploit that is supposed to blue screen a server. So we're going to set the verbose to true so we can see what's going on. Set the R host to the IP address of the Windows 2003 server victim and run the exploit. And as you can see, it did exactly what it should do. It blue screened the server. Okay, so now we're going to go in and change the policy. So first let's do a quick search. You can, you can search by CVE in here, which is pretty cool. So you can just type in the actual number, and you can see the rule and the name of the rule, and the method for, in this case, prevent, of course, for that particular CVE for the RDP vulnerability. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. By now the uh, VM is already restarted, so we should be good here. We're going to go ahead and send the policy over. Log back in. And as you can see, the IP intrusion prevention is on. All the rules running. So let's go ahead and do just a quick log back into Kali over here and rerun the exploit. Same IP address, just have to rerun the exploit. And it shouldn't blue screen the server now. It's sending the packet. And as you can see, the RDP service is unreachable because even though it's turned on and it's not patched, the IPS protected it from actually completing the exploit. You can always go back to your dashboard and look around and actually find out where it's at. And thanks again.